Before you cross the street, you better look both ways, or we'll throw you in the pokey for a dozen days. And all around the county, every woman and man knows we'll pull you over just to play our banjo. The Police Accountability Report, brought to you by CopLock.org. CopLock is a decentralized project supported by a diverse group of individuals united by their shared goals of police accountability, education of individual rights, and the dissemination of effective tactics to utilize while filming police. And that's the plan, Joe. Throw you in the can, Joe. From Phoenix, Arizona, where... Insert clever comment about the weather. This is the Police Accountability Report. Critical Mass is a bicycling event where a large number of bicyclists take to the street at the same time. They are designed to draw attention to the fact that bicycles are an alternative to cars. On May 28, 2010, a critical mass demonstration was held in Los Angeles, California. One of the riders, Manuel Gallegos, saw some LAPD officers harassing his fellow cyclists, so he took out his cell phone and began to record. It didn't take long for him to catch the LAPD misusing their alleged power. Gallegos filmed several cops as they kicked at passing bicyclists and even knocked one off of their bike. When Gallegos saw this action, he yelled at the police. As soon as the police saw that their deed had been recorded, they rushed over and arrested Gallegos and smashed his phone to the pavement. Luckily, the video survived. Gallegos filed a lawsuit this week against LAPD after an internal investigation's result was not made public. Gallegos is seeking justice for civil rights violations, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and assault and battery and police negligence. L.A. County Sheriff Lee Baca has been accused of launching a special investigation at the behest of a wealthy donor. The donor, George Massiano, is the co-founder of Guest Jeans. Massiano believed that some of his employees were stealing from his business, so he asked the investigation. The investigation continued for nearly 18 months, despite the fact that several outside accounting audits and concluded there had been no wrongdoing. During the investigation, Massiano donated $100,000 to Sheriff Baca's charity organizations and another $2,000 to the sheriff's political committees. The LA Times' Robert Federucci raised a valid concern by pointing out that elected officials that accept campaign contributions have a conflict of interest when they are responsible for policing the community. Apparently, when a favored insider thinks they need policing services, they can purchase the services they require. On Thursday, January 20th, the FBI initiated the largest crackdown in the organization's history. Just before dawn, FBI agents in several eastern states moved swiftly to arrest 120 suspected mafia thugs. These suspected mafiosos are wanted for a range of crimes, including murder, racketeering, extortion, and laundering money. Remember, the government hates competition. Former Santa Fe County Sheriff Greg Solano was arrested Wednesday on 251 counts of embezzlement and one count of fraud. After serving his constituents for eight years, Solano resigned his position as sheriff in November. Solano's attorney, Brooke Gamble, said that she doesn't understand why there was an arrest when Solano had already admitted to his deeds. Solano was able to post a $25,000 bond and was only in jail for three hours. While incarcerated, the ex-sheriff was not placed in the county jail, but rather held in the medical wing. Any mention of a medical condition is strikingly missing from the report. WLKY in Louisville, Kentucky, reports that Louisville Metro Police Officer was suspended for giving a 7-year-old a citation for criminal mischief. The boy threw a ball and hit the officer's truck. Officer Cody Chappelle was suspended for 15 days after an internal investigation determined he had violated police rules, standards, policies, and procedures. According to the suspension letter, no damage was done to the truck, and the citation was written in an effort to get the boy's mother to discipline him. Of course, Chappelle has filed an appeal with the police merit board. Boingboing.net is reporting that San Antonio police officer Craig Nash raped a woman while on duty. He faced a life sentence for the felony charges, but he was able to plead down to a misdemeanor and will serve just one year. Why? Nobody is quite sure, but it couldn't possibly be the fact that the woman he raped was actually a transgendered sex worker. If there is anyone out there with consistently violated rights, it would be someone from the LGBT community. That's it for this edition. This is Nick signing off. Keep it here on LRN.FM for more liberty-oriented programming. Connect with us at copblock.org slash contributors or send us an email at copblock at gmail.com. When you're in our county and you want to drive, just remember to go 55. Because all around the county, every woman and man knows we'll pull you over just to play our banjos.